yes, I'm back with another bottle bird feeder on. Hey, Mom! Okay, I admit it. I love doing these. They're cheap, they're simple, and they just get all of my creative juices out. So for this bottle bird feeder, all you're going to need is a recycled bottle, whatever you choose. A few pine cones, because that's another thing in abundance in my house. A bird safe acrylic paint, scissors, hot glue gun, beads, and some strength. And you'll be able to make a beautiful bird feeder. The first thing I do is I'm cutting it down to size. I do love to use these juice bottles. I don't know, they, they come in all different brands. My family drinks a lot of juice. Uh, I can't because I'm not doing sugar, but I do scale the bottles. And I just love them. They have all kinds of different nuanced things that inspire me to come up with a bird feeder. So this one is going to be a flower based one. And all I did right there, I cut off the bottom, I cut out the door, and I'm gluing it. It's also a, a sturdier plastic I've found than the, like soda bottles and things like that. So it can take the hot glue without melting. This plastic, if, it, if your hot glue is too hot, it will kind of collapse. Before I forget, hey! If you're inspired by our craft videos, if our DIYs motivate you to do it yourself, please consider subscribing to Hey Ma. We'd love you for it, and it costs you nothing. Also, like, share, hit the bell. Okay, back to the video. Alright, so here's the pine cones, and I do have a video on how to make pine cone flowers. I uh, generally... I'll look for an extra uh, dry pine cone and then I can just pull the scales off of the bottom like I'm doing here. Those are going to be the petals to the flowers. So I'll link a, a video on how I do that. Um, I did come up with a color scheme for this. It's kind of like a hot, fiery spring, summer. I don't know. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> These are the colors I'm using. Um, it's less important what colors they are um, because I did mix a few of them to get what I wanted. So I wanted like a dark um, orange red. Um, I wanted like a peachy kind of orange, a hot pink, um, a, 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 maybe a mauve type color, a maize, um, and then like a, a green regular green and then also like a uh, not a, quite a sage green because I want it I put some neon in that I wanted it to be a little bit brighter than a sage so here I'm kind of following the lines of the plastic because I am doing what is hopefully at the end gonna look like stems for flowers Right? So all I'm doing is painting there. Um, I do this while I watch TV and honestly it's, it's very relaxing. This would be a great craft to do with your children. Just a cheap, easy, fun craft. I have these beads. I think I've spoken about them before. They are the um, what's left over from a car mat. <laughs> like back in the day, like the 70s, and I believe I had one of these back in the 90, 1990s, believe it or not. And this is how long I've been, you know, saving stuff for crafts. I think it was from my first car, and when it finally fell apart, I never got rid of it. I put it in my, um, my gallon size bag, and I've had it ever since. And every now and then I bust them out for crafts, and they are still the same beads <laughs> from back then. So anyway, um, I did paint, uh, do the, the painting uh, of the leaves, not the leaves, yeah, the leaves of the, or the stems of the flowers. So this is the bottle. I'm just following the lines of the bottle here, and so it makes it real easy. Um, they're kind of raised, and that's one of the things I liked. I, I painted the inside one color, and then I went around the outside of the darker green. Just outlining it for dimension and to accentuate the kind of natural embossing of the bottle. I wanted the bottom to be that kind of peachy color, mango 
color. just hot gluing all the different petals around in a circle and then I use a bead for the center of the flower and that's basically it there's a lot of different ways you can make flowers with pine cone scales this is the one I chose to use for this crap but um, I like I said I do have a separate video on that so the link will be above or below wherever Wherever I remember to put it. So I have to admit, I started getting a little giddy at this point because the flowers were coming together how I wanted and I thought this was really going to look So here you see, I'm just gluing the back of the flower. You see that the, the green flower looks like leaves almost. And I'm just gluing one for the front I glued one for the back. I think here I had not finished that second one yet. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I really do like these, this, this style of uh, pine cone flowers. So I might do a separate video on that. It's way more time consuming than what I usually do, but I do think the results look really neat and I have another idea of what I want to do. So uh, stay tuned for that again subscribe so that you do get notifications whenever I get around to doing that. So much on my plate right now. So much. I mean, look at that. Is this not the perfect little daisy kind of flower? I mean, oh, gorgeous. And this is a relatively fast project. I did this all in the course of one evening because the acrylic paint does dry so fast. So this is a, just a nice afternoon craft to do with your family. Comments about the bird feeders. I get that I make and um, how sustainable they are. And I'm not really making them to be sustainable. I only put them out for a brief moment. I mean, I live in hot Florida where it pours and then it's extremely hot. Um, nothing really lasts out there. But these are just really nice. And especially in this time of year because... Uh, if you are a bird person, you've probably gotten alerts that the birds are kind of having trouble. There's a, an outbreak of salmonella and they're, they're telling you to take down your bird feeders to prevent the spreading of the salmonella and um, to clean them um, regularly, <laughs> which I don't see anyone ever really doing that. So uh, this is another way to kind of keep them clean and kind of rotate them out. And, you know, just have new ones, fresh new ones every now and then. And that's all I do. My birds are used to it. The squirrels are used to it. <laughs> um, they just, they're the destroyer of all. Also, I think that it's just really cool that if you're having a barbecue, you know, you can customize the bird feeders. And uh, everyone will say like, wow, that's pretty cool. It's a 4th of July bird feeder. Where did you think of that? And it's just like, oh, I don't know. I got to keep my hands busy. So... That is the craft, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I hope to see you next time. Subscribe so you can see when we post another video. And thank you for watching. Hey, Ma, especially to the end. You made it this far. Hit that like button, please. Go ahead. Thank you. All right. We appreciate every single one of you. So until next time, so long.